Next up, when you're going like one step above, you have CP1, CP2, CP3. चलो अब ये लिख दिया तो यहाँ पे CB3 भी लिख देता हूँ. Uh, and then you go your SPSA level. So you will have SP, let's just say SPA, SPB, because that is something that you will have to decide for yourself. And then you have your SA, whatever. Let's just call it SA X, right? Now, if you most of your, I mean, let let me pick up one question at a time. The first question that came was. uh that there is a never ending syllabus by himanshi right so let's try to understand why is it here and why does it have a never ending uh, uh syllabus this cp1 subject so in an ideal world according to institute's theory who is supposed to give cp1 someone who has done these four subjects is what my understanding is ki jisne ye char subject kar liye cs1 cm1 uh, cs2 cm2 yeah at least the three of this or matlab in an ideal world you should have at least given an attempt for all of these four subjects 